Um, here's a rectangular equation. Okay, so this is a third uh, equation. And what we want to do is we want to change this. Okay, now you see that actually the, the again, what, what I've used was theta. This is a very, another very common um, parameter outside of t. Now, when we go to motion, we're going to stick almost entirely. In fact, we, I would, I'd have to say effectively, uh, we will entirely be working with t as our parameter. But since we're not necessarily dealing with motion as it relates to time, sometimes x and y relates to the, you know, to theta. Okay, that could be that whole aspect too. So here we recognize, as we said earlier, uh, you know, we're seeing sine, cosine. We're probably going to want to use that uh, identity that we were using earlier. So let's just try this. But let's first by making this into a cosine theta because we can't really do much with this 4 here. So the first thing I want to do is say cosine theta equals x over 4, all right? Pretty simple, right? Uh, sine theta equals y over 5, OK? Nothing fancy there. So now let's bring back our friend cosine theta, right, plus sine theta squared theta, sorry, equals 1. Then let's substitute in. What do we have? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Before we go on, I have to square this first, right? Square. This becomes x squared over what? 16. OK? So I'm just squaring both sides, OK? In order for this to make sense. Because, oh, ah, ah, fancy. I can just do there. OK, so all I did was I took that first uh, uh, um, uh, expression, which I got from these, and then I squared both sides so I can plug it into there, OK? So this, I'm plugging in directly into here. x squared over 16 plus what? This is going directly into here. y squared over 25. Wow, this should look familiar. Um, from conic sections, what is this? It's simply an ellipse, right? Your major axis is what? 25, right? It's on the y, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And then this could be 16, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, and then, uh, and of course, you'd figure out the, fo the foci. I'm not going to go through all this because this isn't really about conics. But however, we see we have a nice little oval here. And so this becomes the path of motion, right? Right. Um, this becomes the equation based on these parametric equations. So x and y relate to theta, okay, in this motion. OK, so as theta changes, this path is going to change, OK? And, uh, you know, again, theta could come in, uh, you know, if you're drawing out, uh, um, you know, we could relate to other curves and whatnot. Uh, it's a little more abstract than, than time in terms of what, what this means ex precisely. But, um, but when you have this, simply convert this into using this very important Pythagorean trig identity. Just simply square both sides plug it in, and then, then evaluate the rectangular, um, the rectangular uh, uh, graph, which in this case is simply an ellipse with a major axis of um, 5 in the y direction and 4 in the, uh, in the y, a minor axis of 4. All right, so that is, that is what uh, the rectangular equation is, and this is what it looks like on a graph. These both represent this graph, okay?